Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can enable tessellation for your 3D textures imported from Quixel Bridge. So we want to go to Blender. This only works for cycles. So if you're an EV render, you should change to your cycles render. And under experimental features, go ahead and turn on my GPU. So we want to go to Quixel and import a texture. So successfully exported to Blender. Then we'll go back to Blender. So if you have the plane and then go into edit mode and subdivide it. Then materials and we'll add the material to it. So if you go to your rendered mode, you can see that the materials will cause a deformation on the mesh. So the detail of this deformation depends on the number of subdivisions you add to the plane. So if we go back to edit mode, select everything and subdivide it. And then we want to edit the material under our shader editor. So where you see displacement, we can reduce the scale. So here our material was doing the inverse of what we wanted. So by applying negative scale to the value, we can see that it's applying the material correctly now. So if we want to increase that, we can change the value here change it to one you see it's very rocky so that is how you can achieve such results in blender you can do this with any quick zoom material let's go and import another material so let's try this beach pebbles so click on export and back in blender you can select the plane and change the material the beach pebbles for some reason our textures are coming in fact, the displacement is inverted, so we can just change that here by adding a negative to the scale value. Then we can reduce it. We can also reduce the value of the overall scale. So there, even our normal map was in the negative. So these are things you should check for. You know, this is still an experimental feature. There could be some few things that are not working perfectly yet. Go back to the rocky ground. That means our normal map, the strength, we need to put it to the negative. And right, to fix that. So this is it without and with the effect on. So I hope you found this helpful. If you like what you saw in this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.